Hi everyone, it's Mrs McInnes here. In today's lesson, we are going to be looking at the formulas that we use to calculate distance, speed and time. So the first thing we need to talk about is this triangle here, which is called your distance, speed, time triangle. So the way that we remember how we fill these letters in is that D goes on the top because that's the first one alphabetically and then it's S and T alphabetically across the bottom line. So distance, speed and time. So we can use this triangle to write out the three different formulas for this topic. So the first one we're going to look at today is the formula for distance. So the formula for distance you can see here is speed multiplied by time. So if you think of a really basic example, um, say you were in a car that was driving 10 miles an hour. So 10 miles an hour, so in one hour you would go 10 miles, two hours would be 20 miles. Three hours would be 30 miles and so on. So you're multiplying the speed by the time that you're taking to cover the, the distance. So the way that we remember that formula is if you were to cover up the D for distance in this triangle, the letters that are left in the triangle is S and T. And because they're side by side in maths, that means that they're multiplied together. So your formula for distance is speed times time. If we were to look at the formula for speed, what we would do is we would take the distance travelled and divide that by the time that it takes. Okay, so say for example, we went 100 miles and it took two hours to do that. That means we would be doing 50 miles per hour, 100 divided by two. So 50 miles in one hour, another 50 in the second hour for 100. So the way that we remember that is if we cover up the S for speed, we're left with the D above the letter T, so that's divided by, so you can see that in the formula is distance over time. So your formula for distance, uh, sorry, for speed is distance over time. The last one is your formula for time. So if we wanted to work out the time it takes to cover a distance, we would take the distance and divide it by the speed. So say, for example, we were covering that 100 miles, and it took us 50 miles per hour to do that. If we do 100 divided by 50, it would be two hours. So a very basic example there. So your formula for time is distance over speed. And again, from the triangle, if you cover up the T for time, you're left with the D above the S. So it's distance over speed as a fraction. Okay, so we're going to take these formulas one by one and we're going to look at these individually in the next few lessons, starting today with calculating distance. So let's do some examples. So the first thing I'm going to do here is actually just draw the triangle up the top for you. So distance, speed and time. And because we are going to be calculating distance, if I cover up the D for distance, I'm left with S and T. So my formula is speed times time. So in this example here, we have calculate how far a car travels when driving at 50 miles per hour for three hours. So every hour we're going 50 miles. So we want to know how far can we go in three hours. So the first thing we would do in any of these distance speed time questions is just at the side of your page, write out those three variables. Okay. So our distance, we don't know what that is. So we'll call that a question mark. Our speed we have in the question, 50 miles per hour. So that would be your speed. So we can write 50 miles per hour here for speed. And then your time is three hours in the question. So three hours. Your time always has to be in hours. So if it's a whole number, that's fine. If it's a number of minutes, you would need to change it into the decimal form. It must be in um, hours only. So our formula is distance equals speed times time. So our distance is going to be 50 for speed times three for time. 50 times 3 is 150. And you can tell from the units in your speed what your units in your distance is. So your units in the speed was miles per hour. So your distance is in miles. And that's really important that you put the units um, after the distance as your final answer. Okay, example two. We have here, calculate how far a train travels when travelling at 110 kilometres per hour for two and a half hours. 
So this question would be more like a yellow question. That first example I did was a pink style example. This one is more like a yellow style example. So the first thing we'll do is write out our three variables. So distance, speed, time. So distance we are calculating, so we'll give that a question mark. Speed we have in the question 110 kilometers per hour. So 110 kilometers per hour for speed. And your time is two and a half hours. So you must use the decimal time here. So two and a half hours would be 2.5 hours. We've covered that already in our previous lessons on decimal time. So your formula is speed times time. So distance equals 110 times 2.5. So you would be okay to use a calculator for this here. Um, so what you get is your answer 275. Your units in the speed was kilometers per hour. So your distance is in kilometers for this example. Okay, the last one, example three. Again, this is like a yellow style question, um, yellow purple style question. So here we have calculate how far a runner travels when running at a speed of 12 miles per hour for 30 minutes. So if we write out our three variables here, so distance, speed and time. So distance, we're calculating that. So that's a question mark here. Speed, we have in the question 12 miles per hour. So we'd write that in for speed, 12 miles per hour. And then our time, we have 30 minutes. So you must change that into a decimal time. So that's one that we've covered already. 30 minutes is half an hour, so 0 0.5 hours. So the formula is speed times time. So distance equals 12 times 0 0.5. And again, you can use a calculator here. That's going to give you 6. Your units for your speed was miles per hour. So your distance is in miles here. Miles again. Okay. So for today's questions, I've split it into pink and then purple, uh, yellow purple. So I've attached a booklet for each colour. Pink, I would like you to try page one, question one, two, three, A, C and E. So that's the first column of each question. And then for yellow, purple, I would like to try from page five, exercise five. So it's a wee bit down the page. Question four, five and six. The answers for these, both of these are at the back of the booklets. So can you please mark your questions and then send me a picture um, just so I can check how we've done with calculating distance today. Okay, thanks for listening, guys. I will be on the live call on the Teams page if you have any questions.